Welcome back to the book review. And today I'm going to take a look at a fantastic art book. It is Flynn, Son of Crimson, the official art book. Always love a good pixel art game. And this book shows off the art in a fantastic way. It's a pretty hefty book. You can see this here. That's how thick it is. You got the spine front and back. Let's check it out right away. Why waste time? There you go, you got the contents here from concept art all the way down to credits. 306 pages as it says. Let's start off with concept art. Already with strong Zelda Link vibes. And this goes between pixel art or actually showing line art. It's really great, big fan of this. Dare I say, I have not finished the game. When it comes to finishing things uh, for games and books, it takes me quite some time. I am definitely uh, more invested in movies and TV shows, as that is my bread and butter. But I do love a good game. I'm still playing Spider-Man on the PS4 with my little one, as he swings through the city and I do the battles. It takes us forever. But anyway, you got here all the characters, cool designs. Love the different variations. I love just these pages with art. Again, cool character designs. That's just the thing that I like about this game. There are many things that I like, but character art, the pixel art, the animation's great. Music is super cool too. Look at that. Love seeing all of this. Cool characters. And as always, for me, like stuff like that, like cool poses. I love how those arms go down with the dragging fingers. It's just always great for inspiration. Like, oh, what could you do with the pose when you do a, you know, a new animation piece anywhere? So cool. But I do love how it really looks at all the characters. Different poses, different sometimes different color variations. Super cool. You got your friends. As it says here, I'm just reading what you have here. So cool though. Look at that. Love it. So cool. When they announce that they're going to do an art of books, like, ooh. I like it. I'm frequently looking at little pixel art tweets that they have showing off the work. It's great. You got your environments here. The hollow. Of course, this goes into spoiler territory with anything. But there I say, since I am less invested in uh, games in terms of time, I don't spend as much time playing games as I watch movies. My uh, spoiler meter isn't uh, as sensitive, I would say. That's cool. Love seeing this, of course. Cool scenes from the early beginnings, stuff like that. Anybody who watches my uh, art of book page through knows that I love stuff like this. Anything that's kind of a rough sketch, an early exploration, anything that is not just the finished work of art. So cool. Stuff like this I love as well. Kind of design elements, side views. You got your title treatments here. Posters, so great. But yeah, just anything where you can see the progress and the progression of a piece of art. And that could be just for a single piece of art, for a poster, for a game design, for anything, an animatic, storyboards, all that stuff. Of course, as you can imagine, this is my favorite. And if you look at this here, come on, checks all the boxes. Super cute, great colors. Wish you could do this in motion, but then you have this. Gives you an idea of the motion and the complexity of it. So yeah, so the moment I saw that, I was like, okay, I need to have that. And also again, it's going back here. The use of color in the game is great. And just if you go through these pages and you switch to this, you might argue, well, these are just basic colors. I know, I know they're basic colors, but come on. To me, beyond basic. I love it. It's just a cool marriage of color and design, proportions, everything. So cool. Come on, look at these. Just cool seeing from the artwork from before and now seeing that in pixelated version. It's so great. Maybe it's because I'm old. I just love pixels. So cool, so cool, come on. How is this not super cool? I mean, given my age, pixels that, you know, my first game was Pong, that's how old I am. So for me, it was always, always cool seeing, like super early on, I played um, Atari, Intellivision, stuff like that, Philips, you have the cartridge putting in with the keyboard on the on the main console, it's great. Love the Intellivision as well, it's so cute, I love these. And then getting into 8-bit, 16-bit, all that stuff. It's just always great to kind of interpret what you see in those pixels. And back in the day, super nicely detailed. It was more through a CRT TV, so it wasn't as clean in terms of the pixel art. It was almost kind of like, you know, with that filter over it. Anybody who's young has no idea what I'm talking about, but it just kind of smoothed it all out. It was still just 
not as pixel clean as it is now but as i have continued to play games on and off my fascination with pixel art has has never stopped maybe it's because my my prime time was the lucas arts point and click that type of animation the backgrounds come on conquer that type of stuff commandos come on it's so great these are awesome i love it so cool Come on. It's not like that. I see this. I just oh, I want to play this. It just makes me happy. I don't know. For some people, it's <laughs> in the nostalgic factor of uh, PS1 blurry textures and low poly stuff, which I can see the appeal. And for others, it is photoreal, high fidelity, HD remasters, everything, you know, 4K, 8K, 60 frames a second, all that stuff. And to me, it's just this. I mean, come on. It's so cool. So cool. I love that we have full two page spreads. So neat. I mean, even if you don't play the game, it's a great art book. All that. Hopefully, it's not too dark for the recording. Yeah, yeah. Bit of a super Golden Ghost, uh, Ghost and Goblins, depending on the title. Vibes there. Of course, some Castlevania vibes every now and then. You can't shake off the origins of some of these Metroidvania games. Metroid itself is great. Come on, so cool. Love seeing this. So cool. I love it. Of course, you would think that by now I would have attempted to at least do some pixel art animation or something, or at least my own game. I don't know. Although that's, that's a... It's a lot more involved than just pixel art animation. And maybe one day, one day, when I have time, I definitely want to do something not as, you know, complex as this. I would definitely more low poly pixel art and kind of try something out. I do love it so much. I need to animate at one point something. Now, I did have an idea, two ideas for a game, actually. And who does not have ideas for a game? Never got to it. And actually, I, ha I, want I really wanted to make a game. I collected a bunch of reference and wrote, you know, design doc and a bunch of stuff. Um, and that was 10 years ago when my little one was born. And as I was holding as a baby, get some downtime, think about certain things and uh, never got to it. Actually, one idea was extremely close to the Untitled Goose game. Kind of a mischief thing where you, you move your character around, grabbing items to get somewhere. But the, uh, the act of grabbing that would be to annoy or in one effect would annoy someone around it. Something like that. I still like the idea though. I don't think it's different enough that I could start. But I do like my other idea. And uh, one day I will go through another art of book and tell you that idea that someone else did. And that someone else should <laughs> because I never get to it. Alright, look at that. Almost there. Cute. Love this. Credits. Get your artists. And Flynn's story will continue. I hope so. That is the end. Oh, there you go. Awesome book for an awesome game. If you have played the game and you finished it, let me know in the comments. If you know of the game, let me know in the comments. I'm very curious. Maybe I'm alone in my pixel art love here. Maybe even animation circles. Maybe pixel art is too old. I don't know. I'm very curious. Anybody who watches my channel who plays games maybe and also knows that game. Very curious what your thoughts are. But that is that for the flip through. As I always say, many more books to come. I was kind of busy with the job search just a couple weeks ago. Got a new job settling in. So got more time to dedicate to the channel again. And that's that. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching till the very end. I appreciate your time. And if you like this, maybe you want to subscribe so you don't miss any of those uploads. You got reviews. You got a bunch of stuff. So go through the channel. This is my pitch at the end, which I should do at the beginning. But why not? Check it out. If you like it, subscribe. Maybe not. Just maybe dial in a couple weeks later. Maybe there's something else that you would like. And hopefully I'll see you later. And that's it from me. Thank you for watching.